Coach Kim. There's there your mark right there. President Mobuto and I have had the opportunity to review and renew one of our oldest and most solid friendships in Africa, that between the United States and the Republic of Zaire. Cooperation between the United States and Zaire under President Mobuto's leadership stretches back through 20 years and five United States administrations. In that time, American leaders have learned to place a particularly high value on President Mobuto's insights and counsel. President Mobuto has brought a consistent voice of good sense and goodwill to the international councils where African issues are considered. From the United Nations to the Organization of African Unity to the non-aligned movement. He has stood uniformly for the peaceful settlements of disputes but has not shrunk from his responsibilities when action was appropriate. In 1983, for example, he dispatched troops to assist Chad in defending itself against Libya's criminal aggression. This year, he came to the assistance of the government of Togo as it faced an externally mounted coup attempt. Much of our discussion today focused on Zaire's her heroic effort to complete its program of economic policy reform. As you know, Zaire has been engaged for nearly four years in a series of painful sacrifices and adjustments designed to rationalize and revive its economy and to develop the potential of its private sector. We have tried to help by supplementing our regular development assistance with special funds earmarked for African states who are undertaking serious steps toward reform. We've also encouraged our business community to look at the growing investment opportunities in Zaire and will continue to do so. Unfortunately, Zaire's determined economic efforts have been greatly complicated by the severe drop in world market prices for its exports. President Mobutu and his people face a heavy foreign debt burden. We have encouraged Zaire to hold firm to the responsible economic reforms it is attempting while promising to do our best to ease the way. Naturally, President Mobutu and I also examined the regional situation, especially in Southern Africa, where we share the goals of a rapid, peaceful end to apartheid, the independence of Namibia, and national reconciliation and removal of all foreign forces stationed in Angola. President Mobutu brings great prestige and influence to bear on the range of Southern African problems, and I welcome his recent efforts in seeking solutions to these issues. After today's meeting, we can be more confident that the future of U.S. Zaharian relations will remain close, prosperous, and productive. President Mobutu and his country's friendship with the United States is most appreciated. And we're proud and pleased to have him with us here today. Thank you. God bless you. Monsieur le Président, au nom de mon épouse et de la délégation qui m'accompagne, je tiens à vous remercier très sincèrement pour l'accueil chaleureux et amical que vous-même, Monsieur le Président, les membres de votre équipe, vous nous avez réservé depuis notre arrivée à Washington. Nous venons ensemble de faire un tour d'horizon de l'ensemble des problèmes qui touchent aux relations bilatérales entre nos deux pays. Je rentre au Zahir assuré de l'appui sincère et total de votre gouvernement, ce qui assure le peuple zahirois de compter toujours sur votre appui, Monsieur le Président, et celui de votre gouvernement. Encore une fois, merci beaucoup pour tout ce qui a été fait pour faciliter notre 
séjour dans votre belle capitale, Washington. Merci bien. As extended to us by you personally and by members of your cabinet ever since we arrived here in Washington. Together, we have surveyed all issues that relate to the bilateral relations between our two countries, and I go home in full awareness that I have the full support of your government and can assure the people of Zaire that they can count on you and on your government. Again, Mr. President, thank you very much for all that has been done to facilitate our stay.